Welcome to My Keto Recovery. Um, thanks for coming out here tonight. I'm kind of going to go over the spectrum of the carnivore diets that are in kind of the public sphere. Uh, I don't know if I'll cover necessarily everything, but there's basically four types of carnivore diet you can kind of do. Um, I use the word diet because that's what it's commonly known as, known as, but it might be the lifestyle. Uh, I myself am on the lion diet here this month uh, for the month of March 2022. And I did it a year ago in March of 2021 and I had an interesting experience. I'm kind of doing it as a reset. I'll get into what that is here in a little bit. Um, kind of on the outer edge of the carnivore diet, or on the, uh, yeah, the carnivore diet is what we call, is termed ketovore. Now, ketovore, that was actually termed by Anisha Salas Berry, uh, Dr. Ken Berry's wife. Uh, at least that's the first place I heard it. I don't know if she actually created it, but she kind of came up with it from what I can tell. Um, and it's probably even barely carnivore. Uh, it's kind of carnivore-ish. Uh, it's very heavy meat-based, obviously, but uh, it also uh, has room for occasional plants, like whether that's broccoli or Brussels sprouts um, and uh, other spices, dairy, and eggs as well. Uh, the next kind of ring inside that's a little bit more restrictive is what is called relaxed carnivore, and it's kind of basically any animal product. Any, I, I would call it like reverse vegan, like vegans would eat anything that doesn't have any animal component. Well, when you're doing a relaxed carnivore, that's basically you're you're eating something that has some kind of animal involved. So it's either the animal itself from meat um, or a product from the animal. Uh, so it could be like meat or eggs or dairy. Um, and there's spices and eggs uh, or spices and herbs rather, excuse me, uh, that you can have as, as well that. So it's either of the animal or from the animal. Uh, the next circle in, I would probably say, is probably a little more restrictive, and it's just meat, basically, uh, with a little bit of dairy, and that's just carnivore. Um, and uh, that's, you know, all, all your meats that you can have there as well, um, and that's kind of what that involves. Uh, the last ring, which is I, what I'm on here, is the lion diet. Um, now, which it's an interesting term. It came, was kind of derived from, excuse me, Michaela Peterson. Um, and, uh, if you, if you haven't read up on her story, um, it's kind of interesting. She had some really severe autoimmune issues and has basically for the last three years eaten ruminant meat only and salt. Um, she had, uh, a, a lot of issues with anxiety and depression. Uh, and also she had like a lot of surgeries, uh, with her, I think it was her ankle, like one or two ankle surgeries and just some really severe mental and health issues, mental or physical and mental health issues, and also um, just just a lot of autoimmune issues as well with her health. Um, and she's had a great turnaround. I, I would encourage you to go look her up and see her story. Unfortunately, she was supposed to have a TED Talk about it, uh, and they recorded it. She's posted it on her page, but the TED, uh, TED Talks community, unfortunately, will not be airing it because they say she voted, she violated some uh, community standards, which... She hasn't really gotten this full explanation as to what that is yet. And it seems like they're being a little bit shady about it. So anyway, um, but yeah, the, the lion diet, that's, she was kind of the person that made it famous. And basically what it is, is it's ruminant meat only. Um, and what ruminant meat is, is anything that is grazing in, uh, in kind of a pasture and has four stomachs for digestion, which includes the main one is, is beef, a cow. Um, the other one... Uh, some other animals, uh, maybe less known, but for more common or, or can sometimes be eaten as well, are, are lamb, uh, which I think now Michaela Peterson uh, is primarily eating. She was eating beef. Now she's moved on to lamb. Uh, also, some others are like bison, elk, uh, deer. Um, those are some ruminant meats as well. So there's a good variety there, um, but it's basically just ruminant meat and salt, and that is it. Um, and the reason I'm doing it here, uh, I, I've kind of bounced in my weight loss here. I've kind of lost the same 10 or 15 pounds, like maybe three or four times here in the last, I don't know, like half a year, nine months or so. And I'm just really trying to get a hold, of, get, I want to shed like these last 25 pounds and be done with it. Um, so I'm doing this for the month of March and then maybe possibly roll it into April and do a challenge uh, with my, uh, with my coaching and uh, have other people involved as well. Um, and I'll kind of go from there. Um, I don't, I, I don't uh, ever see that I'll be on this lion diet forever. 
Um, I can't see where the health benefits would be that drastic for me. Um, but I have uh, noticed a difference in my appetite suppression. Um, and I'll say that my appetite has really been in check, which my cravings at the beginning of the year were really kind of out of control. So it was one of the reasons I jumped into this lifestyle. So um, anyway, I, I, that kind of covers the spectrum of carnivore uh, diets. Again, I use the word diet. Um, you know, if you have any other interpretations, I'd be open to hearing them. But I think for myself, that's kind of like the four that, that are kind of narrowed down. But uh, it, it's kind of an interesting way. It's a great way to do a food elimination diet as well to see if, you know, if you just move down to a, a few items, um, where your health would go. And I also would recommend um, jumping in from like the standard American diet, whether or other diets like vegan or, um, you know, Whole30 or Weight Watchers or those kind of things. Uh, it's probably best not to jump right into carnivore. I would actually encourage people to do keto, uh, a keto-based uh, lifestyle first and, you know, have your vegetables and that kind of thing as well. Um, and then maybe gradually several months later, look into like doing some carnivore-ish type things. Um, and it's, it's not a good, a lion diet, unless you have like some really severe autoimmune issues is not a great thing to just jump into. It's extremely restrictive and, um, can really, uh, have an influence, um, uh, can, can really be a shock to the system. So, Anyway, I hope you hope that enjoyed that breakdown and I'll see you on YouTube.